this is Bino. Welcome back to my channel. Um, not too long ago I made a uh, two-in-one lanyard or a three-point lanyard, but today what I wanted to work on is one that's a little bit smaller, a little bit lighter. Um, so that's what we're going to do today, work on a smaller lanyard. Okay, so I'll start here. The first thing that I went and did is I got an aluminum double locking clip. Um, it's, it's double locking. It's a little bit lighter because it's aluminum. Also, like the last one I built, I got a thimble, a plastic thimble. Not really necessary because you could just tie it to the rope, but I do like having a thimble on it. And I got a 25 and a half inch ocean cord. I believe it's 10 millimeter. And also I got this chisel. This is something a friend of mine, Doug, um, told me about a bunch of years ago, and I never decided to use it. But I think it's a little bit lighter than a micro pulley, and it has some really good aspects about it that you can tend your line in any direction. So I wanted to give this a try. And we also got a Petzl oval carabiner and also some new uh, fly rope. It's about 10 feet of rope. And what I'm going to do is use this clip. It's a non-locking clip, and I'm just going to use it for my end. Instead of just having a, uh, a, a stopper knot, I'm going to put this to the end so I can clip it to the, uh, the saddle instead of letting it hang. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'll get the aluminum clip and the thimble, and I'll put the thimble on the clip. So what you do is just kind of open where the slit is and you push it in. There you go. Um, after you get the thimble on, what I'm going to do is I'll get the fly rope. I'll stick it through the eye. And what I'm going to do is make a, uh, a double fisherman's bend. That's my preferred knot. So you, to do that, you do two wraps. One, two wraps around. And then you follow it back through. And now I'm going to have about my hand width is what I want to have. So the tail is going to be about my hand width. So that's the length that I want. Tighten it up. And once I get that tight, I'll have that thimble in place. And then I'll bring it close. Get it snug the way I want it. Okay, so that's what I want right there. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do, since... This is going to be a one direction lanyard because um, it's not a two, two in one. It's going to be a one direction. I'm going to use a mutual con knot. To do that, I'm going to get the ocean cord and I'll start at the top and then I'll do my wraps downward. I'll go one, two, three. This piece will go behind and then this will come up front. And I'll get it snug. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, there I have it. Get it all in place. Make sure that the tails are are equal size uh, length. So once I've got that on, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this chisel, and I'm going to go to the end, other end of the rope. And I'll put the big end on and I'll feed it all the way up to my knot. Okay, so now I got it to the knot here. So you, what you want to do is you want to capture um, the uh, chisel between um, the two eyes. But once I get that captured, I mean, once I get that tied on, now I'll get my carabiner and I'll put it through one eye the chisel in the middle and then the next eye okay I'll get that on I'm gonna get it rotated it to the other side so when I get to the D ring I'll be ready to go give it a real quick test it works see how that feels so what's cool about the chisel is I understand is it in any direction that you pull that it's supposed to tend pretty smooth unlike a, a micro pulley a micro pulley has just um, the pulley in the center and if you pull in different directions you kind of rub on the the sharp edges of the the pulley so anyhow that's what we'll have the mitchell con chisel and the oval and what i'm going to do for the end of the lanyard it's kind of a it's a 10 foot rope so you'll say about you lose about maybe four feet in knots 
So what I'm going to do is have a just a non-locking clip so I can clip it to uh, my just an accessory cord on the, the saddle so it's not hanging anywhere. So to do that, I'll just throw this through here and then I'll do the same thing. We'll work on having a double fisherman bend. So go two down, two wraps downward and then bring it straight up through the top and I'll keep the same thing, maybe a hand width of a uh, tail. There we go. So about that long. Once I get it tight and I'll set my clip and I'll get it snug and there we go. So this will just be one that I can connect to the, the saddle so it's not dangling around. You can also use uh, like a figure eight, of eight if you like or maybe even a barrel knot. Alright so this is how you put it on. You just get your carabiner and to the side you like. I'm a lefty so I always put it on this side. I'll clip that on and then usually I'll rest this clip up front and I put um, this is the the clip that I just want to just so it's not on the ground. I'll just put it like on an accessory cord just so it's out of the way. So to use it you get your snap over a branch Put it to your other D-ring. There you go. And rest back. So here's kind of the, the way the shizzle works. You know, just kind of like you're using it. Now all you have to do is you just kind of tend. Now you can tend this way. You can push down. It's pretty nice. So it's, it's kind of a cool situation. There you go. Now, if you didn't like to have, or if your rope wasn't as long, you don't really have to have a click. You could just use a clip. You could use a, a stopper knot. So if you didn't want to have, just say, a, a clip, you could just use a figure eight if you wanted to. That would work as a stopper knot. Oops. Sorry. One, one too many. A figure eight would work. Or you could do like a barrel knot. So to do a barrel knot, you'll you'll take three turns downward, one, two, and then three, and almost just like a double fisherman, you kind of feed it up through the center. And what you want to have is at least um, four inches or so at the end of your your knot. So the barrel knot look kind of like this. So if you didn't have a real long rope you could do something like that so how that would work is you know that would be your stopper so it won't allow it to go but I, i'm not going to have that i'm just going to have that clip on there just so i won't have the the tail um dragging on the ground when i'm walking so i'll just go back to that clip and keep it on with a double fisherman's here There you go. Yeah. And um, I'm going to have it about a hand width tail. So then I'll snug it up. Now this isn't really, this is all this is going to be is my stopper. And like I said, I'll just rest it on a, a clip. Okay. There you go. All right, so that was making a lighter lanyard. Um, the reason I really like the idea of making lanyards, um, just because like you, you ever have like a brand new rope, first day out, you slice it with a tri-cut saw, and you have to, you know, after you slice it enough, you gotta take a, that section of rope out. So say you got a brand new rope, and it's like a 30 foot section, what would you do with 30 feet of rope? It, yeah, I'd save it, and you could make a lanyard. Or you buy a brand new lanyard with the sewn um, eyes and that lanyard gets damaged way before it's time. All the hardware on the lanyard is going to be good. So I mean that the idea is that sure it's good to buy brand new stuff but if you happen to have on hand you got clips and carabiners you know it's great to know how to make this stuff and that's, that's kind of why I like the idea of making lanyards. Um, 
the hardware lasts a long time so it's really cool um it doesn't mean that you just have to use a clip some guys like to have just a carabiner here and a carabiner here a lot of times um in the trade the, you got this stuff on hand and and i you know i know people damage ropes and i mean you've got real good sections and what are you going to do with it use it just as a tie down heck no it's nice to be able to make lanyards and use it in another way um anyhow i just really kind of happy about this lanyard having this lighter aluminum clip and the eye this new addition the chisel and the idea with this Mitchell con it's really pretty simple to, to slide up and down and I like the idea of having this clip on my saddle another thing I wanted to mention is that if you happen to buy brand new rope and, and French press it it's a good idea to, to wear it a little bit because sometimes brand new rope will slide on you also, if you make something new or you create it, you want to try it low to the ground. You don't want to go like 50 feet up in the tree and, and try it right off the bat. Um, put it together, make sure all the, the proper knots and everything that you are going to do to create it are in the right way and, and give it a whirl. So that was making a uh, lighter lanyard. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Well, comment, like, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you like what we do. Also, if you uh, know people who like tree stuff, share our videos. Take care. See you next time.